beautiful Aquarians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career reading for December 2021. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful scammers are about to pertain to be me and lots of other Tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details, and I will never ask you for your personal details. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Now, recently I felt the energy of the collective has been quite low, so I've migrated to TikTok to upload short, sharp videos of nature, moments to breathe, come back to your center, learn about crystals, how they enrich your life and your well-being, but also there's pick a card, card of the day on there as well. So if you are on TikTok, the link is in the comments box below. Of course, if you're not, then give it a wide berth. I'm not asking you to go over there uh, with me. Um, so I will still be on YouTube doing what I do. Again, it is free, no money, no e-gifts, no donations. Let's move straight on with your reading, my beautiful Aquarians. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly. Please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Aquarius, so we have stepped into Sagittarian season, which sees the energy uh, move forward at a quicker pace. This is about exploring your options, but also being really optimistic as we move into the new year. Um, now, we have that uh, new moon, of course, was in Sagittarius, and also this uh, is amplified, motivated energy, um, because we also have a solar eclipse. Uh, so you may be feeling a little bit more energized than usual. We have uh, the full moon in Gemini, of course, uh, towards the end of the month, and that's about closing out chapters, but communicating uh, in terms of getting a better deal. Also, the time period brings a little bit more unfiltered energy, so you may have to uh, really think about what you say and add a little bit of diplomacy uh, to uh, communication, um, because the time period sort of makes people feel a little bit restless uh, and frustrated the way uh, they are trying to express themselves, so just be mindful. Now. Sagittarian season is ruled by Jupiter, the planet of good luck and expansion. So this is uh, going to send some moments of abundance uh, towards you. So in Sagittarius season, um, if you were in Scorpio season feeling really introspective and trying to work out how to move forward, Sagittarian season brings action. It brings um, moments to move forward and implement any changes or uh, any thoughts, ideas that you decided in November, uh, you're actually moving forward to uh, streamline so that you can prepare yourself almost for 2022. We've got writer, we've got media, and we've got student. Okay, so writer, your words have power to influence others. Find out how you can con contribute. So you could be stepping into a position where you need to, for example, um, you know, write um, some sort of, um, what do you call those things uh, in front of people? Um, you give a, a presentation. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Um, giving presentations, you may find the right words to help influence your cause when it comes to your career and really boss up there. Also, you may actually be a writer. Uh, it says here, a career in social media management, book writing, content writing, or blogging could be for you. Also, we got the media card. So that is about, you know, um, your influence, but also about shouting about what you do, you know, really promoting yourself there. Stories matter. So you're, you're, you are the master or the mistress of your own destiny, my beautiful Aquarian. So remember, you're in control of how life goes for you. Of course, there's an element of fate uh, for everybody's journey, but you know, the writer actually you know, decides what the characters do, and you are the hero or heroine of your own story, my beautiful Aquarius. So this is also about using your words um, carefully in order to manifest what you truly desire. You know, if you feel like you cannot do something, you are right, you cannot do something, because number one, you lose the motivation, the drive, and you're telling the universe that you don't feel like you're ready for it. But if you say you can do something, and you will do something, you actually um, change that energy, and you are right also. You can, because 
because you find the motivation, the drive, and the resources in order to get what you want when it comes to your career. It also says here, use words and visualize it as you write them to manifest more money into your life, okay? So important to write things down and then just forget about them, okay? Um, so uh, very important. Um, energy as you manifest for your career. We've also got media. Step into the spotlight and get seen. So this is a time period where people are going to recognize you for what you do and I feel like you will be uh, rewarded for it in some way. Uh, it says here, a career in television, radio, magazine, or any mass media job might be perfect for you. It might be the time to get more publicity if you want to increase your finances. So, you know, promote yourself. If you're the sort of person who feels a little bit shy about uh, work, if you work, make your own stuff or, um, you know, you're a little bit shy about asking for promotion, for example, you know, there are ways to navigate and communicate um, in order to enhance opportunity. So I feel like this time period will bring that opportunity, um, but you've got to sort of step out of a comfort zone a little bit. I do feel like there's a positive shift where the spotlight is on you for a reward in December, but we're gonna go deeper and find out what that is. We've also got students. Work with a mentor to learn new skills or teach you how to implement your plans. You could be in school or pursue a higher education or work for a school district. Teach yourself to succeed with money or get a financial advisor to teach you. Now, of course, on YouTube, there are so many wonderful uh, videos online of how to boss up, how to set up your own company, how to uh, get a second stream of income or how to uh, navigate the time period we're living in economically. There's so many how-tos, you know, that you can get online for free. Um, so you may be a student um, in that respect, or you could be at college or putting yourself on courses online or uh, socially distanced courses where you're enhancing your skills to earn more finances or learn more skills to help advance your career in some way. I mean, they're just giving me the student of life. Okay, so if you are a student of life and you've had a lot of things happen to you, perhaps, you know, you're writing that stuff down in order to make it into a screenplay or make it into, uh, you know, uh, something for TV or something like that. Um, so this that's not going to resonate for everyone, of course, but you may be the sort of person where people have said to you, oh my gosh, your life is so interesting. You should totally write a book. You should totally do this. And you're like, you know what, I should, but you may not have ever got around to it. Well, maybe now is the time to start that. We've got... Number 24, and that is the hearts, okay? This is about love, the love for what you do in your career. You may have felt recently a little bit unmotivated or that you had lost your love for what you uh, did or do, but I feel like you're finding that love again. And we've got the star energy uh, there, which is very positive energy. It's about illumination. It's about inspiration. And we've got the man. Now the man is about, it's not about gender, male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy and that is the energy of action. Okay. That is the energy of action. So basically your overall faded energy, um, number 24, when you reduce it, two plus four is six, which is the number of love or the lovers. So that's about choice. Okay. It's about um, an option to find out what you love doing. Make a decision because it will be a life-changing outcome and it will bring something positive into your world. It could also be about partnerships, okay? You partnering up with someone to earn either a second stream of income or set up your own business or you may be partnering up with that mentor or somebody who helps you expand on opportunities to do something that you love. Um, now, I'm going to pull a quick card on that to see um, because this I feel this energy the most is like, what do I love doing? What am I good at? What do I love doing though? What is my passion? I feel like there's a real philosophical sort of question going on with this card. Um, so you may be really asking yourself, what next? Okay, uh, so let me just, I just got a feeling of the world card and no, that's of, of course it's not the world card, but I feel like you're stepping into, yeah, what next? The three of wands is about expansion. It is literally what next, looking to the future. What do I love doing? What am I passionate about? What are my opportunities? What am I, um, what, what decisions can I make for the future? Three of Wands is being confident that you're on the right path and that you've been on the right path so far, but you may be sort of looking to the future uh, to expand on those opportunities and something better is coming on in. There is something ex uh, better or more exciting expected on the horizon and she's just waiting for the right opportunity. As you can see, her ship is coming in. So it's not long before there's an opportunity to do something that you love. You may have waited for a while, but there's definitely expansion here with that card, okay? Um, they keep showing me the world card. 
so the, and I'm squaring at the same time as doing your reading the world card is about stepping into a new cycle it's about tying up loose ends it's about being in the right place at the right moment knowing that divine timing is in all things and that you're ending a negative cycle and stepping into abundance okay and success so maybe that will come up in the reading but uh, let's see uh, but they just keep showing it to me so maybe it's about world circumstances you know us the time period we're navigating right now you may have felt like something was on hold but maybe you are having a bit more of a movement forward on that but anyway uh, we've got the resistance position which is the star so you may have felt like it's been a bit of a confusing time you lost your motivation or your inspiration for what you do uh, but that is a challenge as you move through December you're going to find that okay I feel like this is about expansion for you uh, this is a very positive time of faith hope looking to the future and believing in yourself knowing that there is a brighter future future to come that's what the star energy is about a bit a, there is a better future to look forward to with clarity with gratitude um, but you will take action you're not just going to sit back and relax and let it come to you some abundance will come to you that way but I feel like you're taking action you're really working hard to make your um, career uh, be something that's solid secure and exciting okay something to look forward to doing something that you love doing the stars are aligning for your success here and bringing some radical changes. I mean, there's number 16, okay? Uh, that number 16 is the tower energy, which is about something popping out of nowhere that's unexpected. Um, and it doesn't, a lot of people think the tower energy is a negative energy, but it basically means taking something away to replace it with something better for growth, okay? It gives you an opportunity. Stay where you are, stay stuck where you are. If you feel like you're stuck or you're going round and round in circles and you're not advancing as much as you would like to, the, the, chance, the choice you have is you can step out of your comfort zone and uh, release that energy and, uh, you know, it's almost like go into the unknown. Now, you're asking me to show you the tower in this deck, so I will. Okay, um, can you please show me where the tower is? Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please show me the tower? Okay, thanks so much. Um, so we've got this tower energy. Um, as you can see, those two figures, the, the tower represents a prison. Okay, they're going round and round in circles. They may feel comfortable in that prison, but they're not getting anywhere, okay? So if you want to advance, they're saying, uh, you know, it's almost like the lightning bolt it hits the crown chakra, which is that deep knowing. You know you need to take action or take a leap of faith in some area, but you may have felt stuck or stagnant and unmotivated to do that. But the universe comes along, sends an element of fate. So either news comes out of nowhere or something pops out of nowhere like a surprise uh, in order to force you into taking action because they know on the other side there is more reward and they want you to succeed and thrive. So the building is now on fire. It's no longer a comfortable place to be. It's actually you know a, a detrimental place to be. So those two figures, they leap into the unknown because it's better to do that than to remain stuck where you are at. So they're indicating there that there is some sort of change coming your way that brings a positive outcome. Now, the masculine energy there, as you can see, this figure is rolling up their sleeves. They're about to take action on something. So whatever moves or commitment to your dreams, your goals, your plan that you're actually taking action on, I feel like it's going to be very successful. There's going to be a lot of inspiration here and interesting. They're wearing, this person's wearing a uh, hat. So their crown chakra is really highlighted there. You know that you need to take action on something and it will be successful. The challenge here is believing in yourself and believing that you can do what you love doing and be successful. You don't have to take a job, for example, that uh, you know you hate going to every day. Now, we all have to do those jobs, of course, uh, in order to pay the bills uh, before we set ourselves up and find our path to do something that we love doing. I'm not saying those jobs are you know not important. They absolutely are. You know, I wouldn't be able to do what I do, love what I do uh, unless I take like another job, for example, on the side, uh, one that really, you know, may not speak 100% to my heart, but helps, you know, in other areas. So uh, we've all been there. We've all done those sort of jobs where we have to do that. But I feel like there's an opportunity here to do something you love and succeed and elevate um, with it. Let me see. Uh, I mean, it could be a creative job or something that you feel inspired to do. We got the King of Pentacles. You're totally bossing up. King of Pentacles energy is about, uh, you know, making really good decisions when it comes to your career and being rewarded for it. Eight of Pentacles, uh, this is about learning as well, student energy. Uh, Eight of Pentacles is about, you know, whoa, huh, learning extra skills. We got a Three of Swords. We got a Hierophant. 
we've got a justice, we've got the nine of swords, and we've got the ten of swords, okay? So they're, they're indicating here, they want me to go again, but they're indicating here that there's some sort of fear of loss. I mean, you may be forced, some people may have lost their job. If you have not lost your job already, it does not mean that you're not going to, it doesn't mean that you're going to lose your job in the next couple of weeks. It's the energy I'm picking up on is for someone who's already lost their job. Now that's not going to be everyone. I'm not picking up on everybody's energy. That uh, I'm picking up on like 20% of people who've lost their job. Uh, there's going to be a message here for you, but the rest, 80%, are for the people who uh, you know are um, either in work or um, trying to make changes within their workspace. Is what I got. Now we got lots of cards coming here. We got the hangman. The Eight of Swords, we got the Two of Pentacles, we got the Ten of Wands, we got the Devil card, we got the World. Interesting, the last card we get is the World. They were showing me the World. Okay, um, so let's see what we got coming on in. Uh, for those people who have lost their job, they just want me to give you that uh, there's been a bit of a wait between you and the next opportunity. Okay, you may feel uh, a little bit tense and a little bit exhausted, but um, they're indicating here that the World will provide the universe will provide there is a new cycle you're stepping into but it may have been um you know slow moving energy um there may have been something toxic here that or something um worrisome um you may have feared that you would not get another job but that's not the case there's something coming on in here that brings a lot more money than you had before okay um for those of you who have not lost your job and you're thinking about capitalizing or moving up um the um the spectrum in terms of your career, I feel like you're going to deepen your commitment to your goals and it's going to bring a lot more finances. Uh, the Hierophant is a card of commitment. The King of Pentacles is about commitment, okay? Um, and it is about um, making really good moves in order to expand your finances. So I feel here that um, you're being really smart and being rewarded for the hard work that you've committed to. Also, the Hierophant is about learning. So you may be taking on uh, courses or, uh, you know, watching videos online or trying to sort of educate yourself further in your career in order to um, gain more money. So, um, you know, with that Eight of Pentacles and the Hierophant, I feel like you're committing yourself to higher learning, okay, in order to... Um, expand your opportunities when it comes to what you do so you know even if you got like an extra qualification for example you could enhance your finances because you've got that extra qualification so i feel like uh, you know you may be looking at doing that how do i learn to add more strings to my bow in order to um financially boss up a little bit more but i feel like you recognize it's more than just the money the King of Pentacles says that there is a lot of money coming on in for you, okay? A lot of opportunity, and you deserve it, okay? But also remember uh, that what you learn, it's almost like the effort that you put in, you get out, because the, the Justice card is about cause and effect. So, you know, the more knowledge you have, the more skills you have, the more you enjoy your work, the better, you know, you get ahead, or the faster you get ahead uh, when it comes to uh, going up the ladder. Um, and the Eight of Pentacles is about you investing in yourself and in your skills and being the master of what you do, the master of your craft. That's what the Eight of Pentacles basically means. You are the best at what you do and you should have confidence in that and be inspired by um, what you bring to the table because you should be rewarded for it, okay? As you can see, she's painting a butterfly there, so she's creative, but also she's creatively transforming her finances because the butterfly represents change and transition. So, and I feel like you're doing it for the better. Now, some of you, not all of you, uh, some of you may be stepping away from a, a uh, a role um, that pays a lot of money uh, is what I'm getting. It pays a lot of money and you may be worried about the transition. You may be stepping away from a role that pays a lot of money in order to do something that is more in alignment with your heart, okay? Um, and more in line with peace because you may feel like the, where you work um, is um, either a toxic environment but it pays really well or you, I feel like you're trying to det detach yourself from the money element to it. Okay, you recognize that of course money is important and we all need it to pay the bills and it's nice to be secure, but you're recognizing the most important thing here, the truth of the situation is balance, it is harmony, and it is about enjoying what you do because that brings, uh, that's the gift, okay, to do what you love and earn from it is like the goal, the dream, okay. Now, 
We do have quite a lot of uh, interesting energy over here. We've got the Three of Swords, a lot of swords. Now this is your outcome position. So something here is very worrisome. It's giving you a bit of a headache, okay? Um, so if you did lose your job, I feel like, you know, you may be um, processing the way that you lost it. You may have felt it was unfair and there may be some sort of legalities going on with regards to that. Um, I feel like it will be a positive outcome, okay? And I feel like, you know, just be mindful of your um, personal health because I feel like that Eight of Pentacles is, you know, about you investing time in yourself. Um, but that Three of Swords, that Nine of Swords, um, and the Ten of Swords can mean that, you know, there's a lot of people demanding your time, your energy, and you may feel like, you know what, I gotta take a step away from this. Um, Three of Swords can be about miscommunications as well when it comes to your career. It can be like getting to the bottom of a confusing situation and being honest with yourself. And um, because this is your energy, your outcome, it's it's almost like if you're not honest with yourself, you will remain stuck and you will remain like, you'll look back with regrets if you don't take action on something. So this could be a dream goal, it could be a dream job. Yes, it may like be like feel the fear and do it anyway, but once you detach yourself from that fear, the world is your oyster, okay? Now the hangman energy is about a new perspective. It is about, uh, you know, putting things temporarily on pause to uh, sort of redirect your energy and see the broader picture. Um, when you get this card in regards to a career, it basically means relax, don't fret get a new perspective you know when it will be time to act you will know when the moment is right to step away from either a job or a position even if it pays a lot of money uh, but i feel like you're doing something for you you're looking after you and that justice card kind of says you're getting um what you feel is right for yourself uh, now, you may also have a lot of paperwork to deal with or uh, some legal matters or contracts. I would say pay close attention to any contracts and details because you wouldn't want anything to be delayed or on pause or anything like that. It may cause you a bit of a headache, okay? Just be mindful of the contract because there could be a miscommunication in there as well. Uh, there's something here about miscommunication for your reading, so uh, I will pull a card on it in a moment. But the Eight of Swords basically says the fear is... Um, of our own making, okay? I'm not pointing a finger at you, my beautiful Aquarians. You know, we're going through and navigating a very difficult time where there's a lot of fear, worry about career prospects, etc., etc. But they're kind of indicating that you are protected at this time. Eight of Swords is an energy of, you know, unwarranted fear. You're keeping yourself stuck, um, but you can get yourself out. As you can see, that, um, that cage there is open. Uh, that, that figure there is sort of uh, feeling a lot of sorrow, but has not realized right now that there is a way out, okay? There is, a, you know, this person can step out of their comfort zone. They can step out of the cage. They have wings. They were born to fly. You were born to fly, my beautiful Aquarian. So they're, it's almost like they're saying, if you're afraid to start something or you've been procrastinating on something, um, the only person that's really hurting or preventing a move forward is yourself. Now we all get into those spaces, we all get into those moments of fear where we think, you know what, it'd be a great idea if I did this, but what if I didn't, what, what if I didn't do it the way that it, it should be done? What if I fail? What if I, we could all think of the woulda, coulda, shouldas, but the only thing that will really show you is if you roll up your sleeves and take action on it, okay? Uh, I feel like there's, well, I've always been given by my guys, there's no such thing as failure, only a learning of how to uh, do what's right for you and also uh, to learn how to tweak a plan or do it differently next time if you feel like it's not working, okay? We are constantly learning. We are the student of life and you will learn what is the best way for you and how to move through it and for uh, in the right direction for you. We've got the Two of Pentacles. Now, the Two of Pentacles is an energy of multitasking. So you may be doing a lot, you may be very busy in December as you try and make some decisions in order to um, get what is right for you in terms of your career. Now, I'm not saying that you're stepping away from a lot of money. I feel like you're actually trying to find a married energy of both. So you're looking for something that you love doing but pays a lot of money. So you may be getting a second stream of income because I feel like there's an energy of duality going on here. Um, you may get creative and your creative skills actually bring in some money and it really pays off. The Two of Pentacles says, you know, you may be doing two jobs or trying to really spin all those plates. Make sure you have a little bit of downtime because all work 
and no play makes you exhausted, right? And we've got that 10 of swords there for exhaustion. We've got the devil card and we've got the 10 of wands. So uh, they want you to make sure you get some rest. The two of pentacles also can mean that you're shuffling money around. Okay, so if you've got a bill over here at this bank, you may be taking some savings out and putting it into that. I feel like you're making everything work, but it's making you feel a little bit of nerves, a little bit of anxiety. We will pull a card to see why, but as you can see that figure, she's standing, she's risky, she's standing on top of a building. She's standing on one foot. So you're managing to do it, okay? It's, it's almost like, look ma, no hands. Uh, you're still managing to do something. It's almost like you're making the impossible possible, okay? She's still stable. She's still standing on uh, a building that is secure. So no matter whatever it is you feel like you're um, doing to come out of your comfort zone and um, reshuffle, as it were, in terms of your career, whatever changes you're making, you're still stable. Uh, now, the Ten of Wands is a card of, uh, you know, exhaustion, tiredness, but also it is about baggage. Okay, set the baggage down. It doesn't always have to be, things don't always have to be hard won. As you can see, she's blooming, she is blossoming, and it is hard work to bloom or blossom or learn, okay? So I feel like you may be feeling like things are backbreaking. I'm gonna pull a card on that actually on its own. So uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Needles. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? What do you need to know about this 10 of Wands? We've got the, the fates, okay? So the fates are in reverse. This is the wheel of fortune, of course. You may feel a little bit chaotic in your energy. You may feel like time is running out to hit certain deadlines. Um, when you get the, you may feel like, there's almost like an energy of feeling down on your luck, but your luck's about to improve. You just don't see that, okay? So it's like, don't weigh yourself down with the woulda, coulda, shouldas. Fate will intervene in the right moment. It will be divine timing. Um, just seeing if I can get what else I get from this card. Because they're giving me, pull another card for clarity. So I will. Uh, it's almost like there's money here um, that is coming to you that is like delayed. Six of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, it's almost like perhaps you're thinking about taking a job where they pay you like not weekly, maybe monthly or six monthly or something in installments. I just get and you're like walking away from that. You have no confidence in that opportunity. Uh, also, I feel with the six of wands in the reverse, there's part of you that doesn't really want to be in the spotlight for something. OK, I feel like uh, but I feel your career will actually uh, put you in the spotlight for something. But there's. I just feel like you're doing something. It's almost like you want to um, either protect a project or you're not ready to show it yet or something, something like that. I feel like you don't want it out in the open just yet, whatever that is. And it's heavy energy. It's not that you've got a secret, but I feel like you're trying to do it all by yourself and you don't want to talk about it right now because you don't want to jinx this opportunity or something like that, okay? Uh, now I have to pull a card on the devil card. Uh, these are your uh, sort of, I mean, it's almost like it's all gonna come good because you're taking action on something, but it's a lot of anxiety or it's a lot of moving stuff around to make something work at first. And then it all works out in the end and you're like, oh, I had no, I had those worries for no reason, okay? Um, it's like at the 11th hour, something is sorted out. But that devil card can mean something is tempting, okay? Uh, that devil card when it comes to a career can be like you being obsessed with, um, you know, a financial outcome but you need to detach yourself from the outcome. The money's gonna come because your protagonist energy shows the king of pentacles. So you're going to partner up with either a company, an institution, or uh, you know, you're going to learn something that actually puts you in a position to earn a lot of money. There will be a lot of money coming on in, but it's not about that. I feel like you're trying to detach yourself from the outcome so that you can have peace of mind and have freedom, okay? I feel like your bank account will change in a very healthy way, but the more you stress or obsess over the outcome, the slower it gets. It's almost like a watch pot never boils, okay? So let me just pull a card on that devil energy. Thank you so much for it, guys, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? The Ten of Cups. Now you could be separating from something, walking away from something that at one stage you really love doing, because they are giving me this whole pile, this outcome pile, as you stepping away from 
something that you used to have a lot of love for. You may be conflicted about it, okay? But um, you are making the right decision for what is right for you. There could also be um, something about the contract, looking at the contract to see um, when you can leave that place, Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, Queen of Wands. Thank you so much for it, guys, Grand Angels. I feel like you're not motivated by this anymore. The Emperor is about success, temperance. It's all gonna come into place. Um, yeah, I feel like either you're stepping away from something or battling something that you're stepping away, you have no passion for it anymore, you've got no confidence. There is a little bit of anger here as well, uh, is what I'm feeling from this card. So, um, the, the Nine of Wands basically says don't give up. But if you decide that you want to leave something that it's not right for you, I mean, uh, you're going to be successful in some other area wherever you're moving to if you're taking action to move into a new department or a new job in some way you may feel like you're going to miss all the people that you used to work with and there's an element of sorrow or overthinking am i doing the right thing uh, am i making the right move but in the end you will see that it is the right move the emperor is strategy it is planning it is a successful move you are making the right decisions the temperance card as you can see, it's about balance, harmony, but it's also about weighing up your options, um, sort of um, looking at uh, your motivations for what you do. Am I doing this for the money? Am I staying in a toxic environment because they pay me really well, but at the same time, it's not healthy for me. Uh, so I feel like you're making some really good moves where you know all the pieces start coming together and you move towards success. The temperance card is about, you know, don't spend more than you have, uh, let the money flow in and out and all of those things but I feel like you're making the right moves the calculated moves for success you're following your heart and you're stepping away from anything that is negative uh, in order to do something that you love doing that will bring more finances okay now we've got the world card which is about success it is about abundance it's about stepping into a new cycle and as I said right at the beginning it's almost like they wanted me to be mindful and they want you to be mindful that no matter what's going to go on here the outcome is the world card and that's what they gave me the final card being the world card it's about stepping into that um that positive cycle the world card brings abundance it brings success it brings a new world as you move into 2022 now there could be some sort of travel here because they, there's movement in your chart um for either traveling to either a new country maybe you're actually leaving a, a a job and a country behind and you're emigrating elsewhere or perhaps you are uh, traveling outside of your comfort zone to take up on an another opportunity that will be actually very rewarding and see you step into a position of authority or leadership where it brings a lot more money than you ever had before I feel okay so whatever it is don't give up there may be a bit of a bumpy ride to get there I'm not gonna lie to you there may be a bit of anxiety that you're going through but I feel like you detach yourself from that and it's a really positive outcome you will thrive and survive Do you have that world card and the Emperor indicates you know you will be successful you're stepping into a new cycle but it's like feel the fear and do it anyway it may be something that you're not used to you will be in the spotlight for some sort of success okay now you may also with that emperor card you may be reaching out and getting a mentor or in some way uh, learning because there's a lot of learning in your chart we got the hierophant which is about learning or hidden knowledge um, and we've got the eight of Pentacles which is about learning um, putting yourself on courses expanding your skills in order to gain more opportunity so I feel like you know you could be reaching out to a position a person in authority or someone who has really good sound advice to help you make this transition because there's definitely a transition going in your world and I feel like it's a really positive step in the right direction okay although it may feel a little bit nerve-wracking at first so I'm just going to move forward uh, very complex reading yours today the energy uh, for both you and Capricorn readings been very complex uh, we do have a bit of a storm outside at the moment so perhaps that's affecting your readings um, but we've got maze path choices puzzle okay I'm not sure if I mentioned it at the beginning like a conundrum in your career or something some sort of something confusing there but you will find your way in that maze okay uh, if you think about maze when you enter into it you enter with the understanding that you may have to walk back on yourself or find another route um, and you're willing to do that okay so uh, in order to find the jackpot the goal right at the center of the maze 
Now we got, uh, it says here, use logic when navigating this situation. It's number 37, when you reduce it, uh, that is 10, of course, which is endings and new beginnings, but it's also the wheel of fortune. So I feel like there's a wonderful turn of events here uh, that work out in your favor, but you have to find your way to that, okay? I don't know if you can hear that. If that's actually a storm, the wind outside, so I do apologize, um, but um, it looks like you will find your way, okay, to something greater. Um, I'm just going to uh, get a trinket before we close. And we've got an angel wing for you. The angel wing is um, letting you know that your guides are with you as you move through December into January. And uh, you can reach out to your guides at any time for help. You are protected, they walk with you, but they do not intervene unless you ask them to. So uh, definitely reach out to them. But I feel like you're divinely guided. The world card says you will be in the right place at the right time at the right moment. And that's why they gave that to me right at the beginning. Uh, so I feel like they want you to be aware that you're being guided, divinely guided to the right place, to the right opportunity, to the right person to work with or the right situation, and you will thrive. But it's about finding the path there in the first place, okay? So I'm gonna leave it there, my beautiful Aquarians. I hope something resonates for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with reading, which is very important for me. Thank you so much, my beautiful Aquarians, and love and light.